Ever since Oprah Winfrey joined other celebrities in touting the effectiveness of prescription weight loss drugs, women nationwide, and, and men as well, have been working hard to get their hands on them. Some even buying counterfeit Ozempic and getting sick because of it. Joining me now to talk about this trend is Dr. Terry Simpson. He's the culinary medicine specialist and weight loss surgeon with Dignity Health St. John. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. You bet. So, would you prescribe these kinds of drugs to your patients? Are they safe? You know, I have. I've prescribed a number of them, then they are safe. They have some really good data, good five-year data. We don't have data beyond that, but we do have some good five-year data. They are exceedingly popular, and because they are also expensive, they're very hard to get the insurance companies to pay for them. So we see Ozempic, we've heard Manjaro, we've heard other names. Is there one that is better than the other? Do they all kind of do the same thing? Ozempic is kind of think of that as the first generation. Ozempic and Wegovy are the same drug. Ozempic is for type two diabetes. Wegovy was uh, marketed, it can be marketed for obesity. It's the exact same drug. and. Manjaro and Zapbound are the same drug. Zapbound is the obesity medicine. Manjaro seems to be better tolerated and has slightly more weight loss. So we'd look at Manjaro as generation 1.5 or like Windows 95. And we have newer drugs that are coming down the market that aren't injectables. Who should be taking this and who should not be taking this? Well, these are really meant for people who have a height weight ratio like a BMI of 27. So that would be about 40 pounds overweight mm. and just can't get it off. And so that's kind of the class of individuals that the insurance company wants. It's not for someone wanting to lose 10 pounds or five pounds or you know fitting into the, fitting into the dress for the uh, Golden Globes. I guess that's what's coming up next. But it really is for people who have the illness of obesity. And it's meant to be essentially a lifelong medicine, much like we treat hypertension. You get on hypertensive pills, your blood pressure goes down, you don't stop them, or you take a statin and your cholesterol goes down, you don't stop it. Obesity and uh, is, a, is a lifelong illness, so that's what they're meant for. So the idea would be it's not like you, you stop taking the pill and then you put the weight back on, you just never stop taking the pill. Yeah, you never what stop a, taking it. And, and if you do, the weight does come back, come back on and it comes back on with a vengeance. You think about how much money then these drug companies could make from this lifelong drug. So is there a side effect to this? There are, you know, people who take these drugs, they have delayed gastric emptying. So that means if you eat too much, you're gonna get nauseated, you're gonna get vomiting. Um, if you eat some of the wrong things, you start eating too much fatty foods, you can develop pancreatitis, which is just a horrible thing to have. But most people are complaining of nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, so sort of bloating. That always seems to be mitigated by, but I'm losing so much weight, I feel miserable. Um, so they have to learn how to eat. You can't, it's not like you go in and get the injection and you're fine, it's, it, it takes a little bit out of you. So I remember like the 90s, there was Fen-Fen, right? Which was this Everybody's big, favorite drug. big, huge it thing. Yeah. Everybody, you and know, then and then mitral it, valve problems. And it yeah. turned out to be really bad. And then they pulled it yeah. back. Do, do we have enough long-term history with this drug to really know if there are long-term side effects? We don't know long-term being beyond five years. We don't. We have had good five-year data. But beyond that, we don't have data. Ozempic was first approved for diabetes, and we have some data from that, and that's where it was actually found to have a side effect of weight loss, which is much, you know, which is why it's used now. So we do have some decent long-term data. Is it complete? No. But usually, when we run into problems like with Fen Fen, you usually know within one to three years. So far, we haven't got it. But again, we these are new drugs, and relative to this, they're being now going out widely, and uh, because there's such a shortage, there's a lot of interest in counterfeit drugs that have the same thing. I and mean, those are out there in abundance, unfortunately. So don't do that, I'm sure is your message. No, and, please and, don't. And no. talk to your doctor, find out if you yeah. actually are, need this or not and get a prescription for it. Yeah, it's uh, not a benign drug. It's not something you can just take and go off and you're gonna lose weight and lose an appetite. Yeah. It has some real side effects. And if you don't know how to eat with it, it's, it's, you can get into trouble easily. So it's yeah. not benign. You need a little bit of care and handholding with it. Uh, but it's yeah. a great drug. People lose weight and they're very happy with it. So, Well, really good information. I think so many people are thinking about this, Dr. Terry Simpson. We really appreciate you coming on and providing you your bet. expert opinion. Thanks so much. Marlon, right. what's coming up?